Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, Cambridge-based Moderna is taking competitor Pfizer to court here in Massachusetts. Moderna claims that Pfizer copied protected mRNA technology when it created its COVID vaccine. Unlike Pfizer, which was already a pharma giant before the pandemic, the COVID vaccine is Moderna's only commercial product right now. Firefighters in Plymouth are trying to figure out what started the fire that destroyed a concession stand named for a 9-11 victim. The Jennifer Kane concession stand at Forge Field was found burned Wednesday morning. Officials with Plymouth Youth Baseball and Softball are hoping donations will help them to recover. They say everything inside the stand was destroyed. In person, early voting in Massachusetts begins on Saturday. More than a quarter million residents have already mailed in their ballots for the September 6th primary. The Secretary of State says every community is required to hold in-person early voting hours. You have until midnight tomorrow to register to vote or change your party affiliation online. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Eric Fisher. Eric. Hey there, David. It's been a stormy afternoon. We've been watching these strong thunderstorms rolling across. Still some trying to push their way this evening down to southeastern parts of the state. These will tend to weaken as they do so, though. We might get a little bit of rain toward the south coast and the Cape. Otherwise, we'll start to see a clearing trend late tonight. Be a mild morning, though, in the 60s to around 70. As that cold front shifts offshore, we'll get a little bit of a drier weekend. It looks like a nice couple of days for both Saturday and Sunday. Nothing too active around here. High pressure just shifting off to the east. Both days should have low 80s for inland spots and some 70s along the immediate coastline. Small chance for a pop up shower tomorrow, but most towns should be staying dry. So a nice final weekend of the month of August. But David, it looks like a heat wave for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday to close out the month. All right. Interesting. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. I'm David Wade. This has been a WBZ News update. We thank you for watching. Enjoy your Friday night. And if we don't see you, have a great weekend.